you know how white women have this uh, one stereotype that's really problematic, like the dits or the bimbo or the airhead thing with the blonde hair girl thing? Well, Latinas have a similar one where we're often depicted in these stereotypes of being the party girl, the fun one, spicy, sexy, all these words that are used to really just portray us in sexualized ways. It requires that we not be intelligent, that we not have any intellectual contributions to conversations or just life. And so there is so much opportunity right now for us to actually be able to counter that. And by countering, what I mean is creating counter narratives in classrooms. It's actually one of the tenets of critical race theory, which is to offer counter storytelling. We need to do that in school so that when students, when young people see these depictions in the media and all around them, they can say, that's off, right? Like I, can, I find one person can be that way or a bunch of people can be that way, but that's not who all Latinas are. The classics, I'm sorry, don't do a good job of showing us at all. And when some of them do, they show us as maids or they show us as sexualized objects and beings. We are elements in the plot for the purpose of developing the main character or conflict. We need to do better. This is why inclusive literature matters.